good vibe gang we are continuing the search album shout out that outcast what's going on out i don't know what that meant but it's between means and use you feel me ladies and gentlemen and f i missed the days now my man jacob jacob hit me up and he said yo i've been following the search albums album review and i know that you're gonna do i miss the day i miss the days next he's like brother prepare yourself for a mental party mix of emotions and i said excuse me sir I'm ready for anything the NF has to throw at me, brother. Relax. Shout out to Jacob. I appreciate you following the series. People like you is the reason why I keep on doing it, man. If not, I'll be, I would have been enjoying every single song of NF that I haven't reacted to yet. I would have been enjoying all of that already. I already would have been done his catalog. But to people like you, Jacob, is why I keep on doing it. You know, positivity. Jacob is always showing me love. Jacob is always doing, you know, he's always a, a true supporter of the page. And he follow, he's been following me since almost the beginning. So shout out to you, Jacob. Thank you so much for always loving and supporting the page, man. You are the man. And F, Federico. Thank you, sir. Federico got the beat. And F, I missed the days, my brother. It is on you. I miss the days when I had a smile on my face and wasn't so caught up in all of the small things. Wasn't so adamant that I could handle everything alone. It wasn't so cautious and always exhausted. And actually listen to things that my heart said. Heart said. Riding my bike, it's riding my bike. Not overthinking my life. Not always wondering if I'm a likable person or someone that nobody likes. Not always stressing about money or losing my job or scared I ain't making a flight. Not always going to bed every night with this knot in my stomach that never unwinds. What happened? Oh my God. So he's talking to, this is kind of like the song that he did. I forgot what was the name of the song, but it was like the older him talking to the younger him. This is kind of like, not exactly that, but it's, he's missing the time when he was younger. When he had, didn't have the issues. Oh my God, man. We're going to go to that? Ugh. When was it? I can't figure out when it was for me, when everything just went sideways, but I have a good idea that it was between the 13, 14 years old section of my life. That's when everything that I can remember was going south. And I started adopting these problems and these, and these issues in my head. See when he when he raps about when he raps the picture that he paints he's like a it's like a Picasso. And I know that's a cheesy ass thing to say, but think about think about it like break it down because I hate when people keep on using analogies and then they use it so much that it takes the meaning off of the analogy. He's like a Picasso when it comes to writing because he could paint you. If you really just close your eyes and listen to the lyrics, he can paint you a picture. A flashback. So you can almost make the music video in your head of what he's talking about. In your own personal life. To go back and think about when was the last time, what happened to those days, I missed those days that I didn't have these issues. Everything was good. I was enjoying my life. I didn't have the issues that I have now. I was positive. I was all this. And now, you know, trying to find out that and pinpoint that time frame. When was it that this stopped? Why can't I have that back? Oh, 
But scared I ain't making a flight Not always going to bed every night with this knot in my stomach that never unwinds What happened to me? Yeah, what happened to me? When did I start to believe? I wasn't worth it and question my purpose to breathe Wondering who I should be Happiness out of my reach Scared to get back on my feet Need to get rid of what's detrimental But it's hard to let go when the thing that hurts you help you get to your dreams See, I miss the days when To let go of the thing that's detrimental is, is tough because well, Oh my god Boy you need to stop talking to these people like that, man. Mr. Bree, wondering who I should be. Happiness out of my reach. Scared to get back on my feet. Need to get rid of what's detrimental. But it's hard to let go when the thing that hurts you help you get to your dreams. See, I miss the days when I wasn't so faded. Love talking about, you know, the, the pain and everything he puts in his lyrics. It got him to his fame. And it's like one of those like things like, oh, I said the last one. It's not always what it's cracked up to be. So you get to that situation and you're just like, I did. I went through all that for this. I went through the struggles of trying to get my voice heard and all this for this. But me feel the same exact single way. That oh God, talk. It's hard to let go when the thing that hurts you help you get to your dreams. See, I miss the days when I wasn't so faded. Love wasn't always invasive. I could embrace it. Just innocent waiting. I or, or should I say what he raps about is what got helped him get to his dreams. But he had to go through that anguish to use that to write about, to paint you the picture. To get to the, his dreams of being, you know, being able to sustain his life with rap. And NF, NF is just a. Every song of his legitimately, legitimately is like a, a, a no pun intended, therapy session. It, it low key is a therapy session. You sit and you really think about it, forget about a reaction, just listen to the song. You sit there and you just start closing and really get into what he's saying and let him pick that picture for you. There's answers that he has in his lyrics that all you need to do is just shut up and listen to it. And the answers is right there. I've learned all the, all the songs that I've done for NF already. I've learned one thing about this man is, is this man has opened my my brain to a whole lot more things of way of thinking about things, how to deal with things. You know, the connection that I have with the music is different because it it, it talks to me in a different type of level. And if it's, and if it's fire, I should have just said that he's fire. Oh. I wasn't so faded, love wasn't always invasive I could embrace it, just innocent waiting Not always living in anguish, when did I break it? Become overtaken, what was the moment I caved And gave away all of my faith and made Hold on, hold on, boy, he's getting angrier and angrier but it's hard to let go when the thing that hurt you help you get to your dreams See, I miss the days when I wasn't so faded Love wasn't always invasive, I could embrace it Just innocent waiting Love wasn't always invasive, I could embrace it Oh my god now you don't know what to trust. You don't know you don't know who to let in. You don't know nothing. But back in the days it was so much easier to trust somebody. It was so much easier to love somebody. Back in those days everything was a little bit a little bit simpler. Life was a little bit better. Ooh. Days when I wasn't so faded, love wasn't always invasive. I could embrace it, just innocent waiting, not always living in anguish. When did I break it? Become overtaken. What was the moment I caved and gave away all of my faith and made a replacement? I missed the days when I missed the day. Got rid of all of my faith and I made a replacement. You stop believing because things start happening in your life back to back that you start losing a little bit of faith in God. And you start replacing that faith with negativity, with, with depression. You start filling it with the, the faith in as, like one of those little games that you play that you pour a cup and, and then this starts growing and it's like a weight type of, it, it's a stupid game. I deleted it yesterday because I didn't get it too much either. But you're, you're overflowing your faith with the negative. So eventually everything from the bottom of that cup is going to move up and it's just going to pour over. And then once it pours over, you, you just replace the whole entire cup.
with negative shit instead of your faith. That hits me so much because I, I, I was in that moment many fucking times. Many times I was in that moment where I, I was replacing my faith and I was to the point where I don't have any faith no more. I have no faith in humanity. I have no faith in nothing. But then I caught myself. And little by little, I started refilling that cup to overflow all the negative and positive. So I could get a clean glass of lemonade. That was fire. That was fire. And what was the moment I caved and gave away all of my faith and made a replacement? I miss the days when, I miss the days when. I miss the smiles we had when we were young. I miss the memories of feeling love. I miss us running underneath. I like that he's got the kids in the background mimicking his uh, the chorus. That is, I love that sound. That sound is good. I miss the memories of feeling love. I miss us running underneath the sun. Staring out the window when the rain would come. I miss the smiles we had when we were kids. Yeah. I feel like life was so much simpler then. Yeah. When we had joy and we were innocent, I give it all to feel that way again, way again. Give me my mind back, yeah. Give me my mind back. The one that told me I was worth something when I fall flat, yeah, fall flat. The one that told me I was worth something when I'm off track. Back when my imagination wasn't in the cage and it was free to run fast, yeah. Give me my. I want to get that moment when my hair was, my head was clear. I want to get to that point where I, I, I want to get back that, that mind that I used to have, the, the one free spirited that I wasn't locked in a cage in my own head. And I'm not, I'm not shooing away people. I'm expect, I'm accepting all the love and I'm giving the love right back. And those happy days, I want that back. Fortunately, things happen in people's lives. And it, it starts, it starts at a young age. It starts. With, you know, parents getting divorced, uh, um, you know, kids getting taken from parents' homes because they're not taking care, they're not getting taken care of the right way. Uh, things happening to kids that is like ungodly and it's the most disgusting thing in the, in the world. All these things happen to, 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 to these kids back in the day. And as they get older, the people expect them to come out 100%, you know, normal, with no issues. I mean, that's, that's a good dream, but in reality, a lot more people come out more messed up in the head being raised in a situation like that. Yo, let, let, let's, let's take for divorce for, for a minute. I've always told my wife, if this ever happens, and it's not, it's not going to happen, but if me and her did, ever did decide to divorce I don't care how old my kids are we're gonna, we're gonna be adults about the whole situation and we're gonna let it ride and make sure that both kids are taken care of make sure both kids got equal love make sure everything because we understand how that could damage a kid's head being around two people for the majority of your life and then one day you don't have that normality no more because one of them is gone. So now you have to, you, 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 you put your brain and your body into a routine of having both parents home that once once leave, that routine is broken. And some people don't know how to handle that. Some people don't know how to handle being a routine that big being broken. And it can mess. That's why kids are always, are, are always important, whether, you, whether the man and the woman are going through whatever they're going through. We have to put the kids first. We have to put these kids first because I wasn't a believer a long time ago, but I am now. Actions of the parents don't affect the kids. I've always, I, I always believed that. Actions of the parents do not affect the kids, but every single action that a parent does affects every single kid. It don't matter. The nine times out of ten, that kid is going gonna to hurt them. These are these, these, these kids are, we, we brought these kids to this world. It's our job. The minute that we, that we had intercourse to have a child, it is our job to take that child so they could be better than us. They could be better humans than us. And then release them to the world to do good for others.
That's our job as parents. Every time we break that bond between parent and child, no matter what it is, it's always going to be the parent's fault. Mental health is it's a real thing. This is not a, a fabricated tale that people talk about just to get views or whatever the case is that they try to do with it. Mental health is one of those situations that people think it's not a joke until people think it's a joke until it's not a joke no more. And then they're going to sit back thinking, what could have I done? What could have I done different to not have this happen? When it's already too late. But if we see an issue, we talk about it. Communication in any type of relationship, whether it be a, a, a marriage, whether it be mother and father, no matter what it is, communication is always key in any type of relationship. It gives you credibility to be communicated, to, to communicate 100% with any situation that you're dealing with, whether it be business, whether it be family, whether it be parenting, whether it be anything, you have to. The communication is key. And I believe that with, if there was a lot of parents that communicated more with their kids, you know, see how they're doing, you know, not be too pushy, giving them a better freedom so they could feel like they don't feel like they're in, they're trapped somewhere. Give them that little bit of freedom so they can realize I can trust them to talk to them about anything. And you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how that works. And if stop, you always make me do this, man. That'll be another 30 minute video because I end that. When I'm off track, back when my imagination wasn't in the cage and it was free to run fast. Yeah, give me my mind back. Yeah. Give me my give me my mind back before it was hijacked and wasn't described as a place of limitation, always indicating I can't handle everything from my past. Handed anything it dissects till I'm depressed. I love that. He said, give me my brain back, the one that was hijacked. The pain and depression and all this stuff hijacked his brain for how we used to be. Man, this boy can talk, boy. I can't handle everything from my past. Handed anything it dissects till I'm depressed. I know I'm blessed, but I'm cursed too. Take me back when I was happy, but I wasn't acting. Vulnerable, but didn't see it like some kind of weakness or a thing that's unattractive. Had emotion, but I learned to mask it. Didn't know what I was running after. Didn't know the older I would grow, the more I lose control and take another bag. It's just really sad when everything you thought was stable crashes. Everything you thought would take the sadness really only made it deeper. Got me off the deep end asking, will we ever feel like we are mad? My, that anger and the pain in his voice when he is rapping like this, man, it's 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 a beautiful it's a beautiful thing to hear someone have this much passion in what they do, and and the content to relate to a lot of people. That boy is talking his heart out. I would take the sadness. Really only made it deeper. Got me off the deep end asking. Will we ever feel like we imagined? Will we ever feel like we adapted? Will we ever feel like we did back? Then just take me back when just take me back when I miss the smiles we had when we were young. I miss the memories of feeling love. I miss us running underneath the sun. Staring out the window when the rain would come. I miss the smiles we had when we were kids, yeah. I feel like life was so much simpler then, yeah. When we had joy and we were innocent, I give it all to feel that way again, way again. Okay. Take me to church, baby. Take me to church, Ella. Oh, man, I was about to come out. With, with the top hat, man, we were about to go get that. I love, that's one of the things that I love to listen to. It, it, it's just, it's just uh, the, the hymns of, uh, uh, of a choir in church. I love just, what, just listening to that when I'm doing my meditation time. Sometimes I like to listen to that because they get so deep into their vehiculars that it's just, oh. I love that. I love it. That's a way to end a track right there. Goosebumps, man. I'm 
Oh, I did it again. Oh my god. Oh, I was trying to hold it in and I couldn't. Oh, this man is amazing. I love that, man. I love that. They gotta go back into that drop. Oh. Yeah. Front to back, this track is fire. Front to back, this track is fire, man. Oh my God. And that's with another banger, another banger. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate all of you. I hope everyone had a good start of the year. This track was amazing. I I just don't know what to say. This guy, man, he takes you to another, whole nother level when he, when he starts rapping and stuff, man. I appreciate all of you guys. I'm at 44,993. I appreciate you guys with that close to 45,000 subscribers. I appreciate all you guys, all the love and everything. 2023 is going to be different. It's going to be different. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. I am out of here. Peace.